Hey, our friends, today we're drawing a tree. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. I hope you're gonna follow along with us, right? You. You ready? You, you excited? You got you. a marker? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now for this lesson, we're also gonna use a pencil, but we're gonna use it later. So let's put that off to the side. We need some paper. When we're using a marker, we wanna make sure that we have at least two sheets of paper yeah. so that our marker doesn't soak through one sheet and get onto the table. Okay, first we're gonna start by drawing the trunk of our tree, and we're gonna draw just kind of a wavy line, and I'm also drawing it a little diagonal. We want it to look natural, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw another uh, line right next to it, and it can wobble and do wavy things that are a little different than the other side, but you pretty much wanna go right next to it. Okay, now down at the bottom, let's draw some roots. So we're gonna draw, you can usually see you know, the top of the roots as they go into the ground. Okay, and then we can draw another one, maybe coming off to this side. Okay, cool, and then this one I'm gonna draw and connect, but I'm not gonna connect it completely. Draw a little bit, little space over here. Good, okay, now let's draw the grass. So I'm just gonna draw little zigzag lines, and then maybe we'll come out like that. Perfect, okay, now let's draw some grass on the other side. And some are tall and some are small. And I'm gonna go a little bit behind the tree. There we go. Okay, there's the bottom of our, there's the grass, we got the roots, we got the trunk. Now let's draw one of the branches. So we're gonna branch off and go this direction. Now we're gonna draw the other side of this branch. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna get a little closer, but we're not gonna go all the way to the end. Okay, and then we're gonna branch off and it's gonna create a little Y shape. Cool, okay, now we're gonna come back down and draw the inside of these branches. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's come up. We're gonna come up this direction. And I kinda curved it. And it really doesn't have to look exactly like my drawing or your drawing, right? Yeah. You guys at home can make your trees look a lot different. You could draw more branches. Now I'm gonna draw a line that comes out like this and comes back down. It's starting to come down here and gets close to touching. Yep, and then let's draw the inside of these branches. Well, it's looking cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a branch that comes off this direction. And then I'm gonna draw the other side of that branch. And maybe you can just barely see where these split. Now they're going into the leaves, that's why we're not drawing any more. So this is just the bottom branches of the tree, and then the rest are gonna be covered with leaves. Okay, now let's switch to our pencil. Now we're just gonna draw very lightly the general shape of the leaves. So the big part of our tree is just a general shape. And so we're gonna do big, watch this, we're gonna do big bumps and little bumps. We're gonna do a big bump, big bump, maybe a little bump, big bump come all the way around to the other side, like that. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. So you do mix it up with some little ones, and then big ones. Awesome. And I even made, made this side of the tree come down a little lower, and I like how you did that too. Okay, now let's imagine that this is going behind the tree, it's coming up here, and then it's gonna come back down. And maybe let's create one last little bump. Cool, okay, now these branches are going into the tree, so let's create the leaves where they're going in. So I did little bumps there, and then let's do, let's do, I'm gonna do a big one, like that, and then maybe a small one over here, and it, maybe two little ones over here, or. Yes, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. Cool, okay, now we can put our pencils off to the side, switch back to our markers. Now this is the fun part. It's gonna be really cool. So I'm just gonna pick one of these pencil lines. Let's pick this one right here, and we're gonna make the leaves. So some of the leaves are big, some of them are small, so we're gonna mix them up. But watch this, I'm gonna follow the pencil line, but I'm gonna create little, and it can be messy, doesn't have to look, do it fast so that you can't copy it exactly the same. You have to use your 
own creativity. Yes, that looks awesome. <laughs> Good job. I like it. That was fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's do let's do this next one. So we're going to do the same thing. Make it messy. Some are big, some are small. But see how the general shape follows that pencil line. Okay, I'm going to do the small one right here. And I'll do the big one. Cool. <laughs> okay, now let's switch down here and let's do some of the leaves on the inside. Yes, that looks awesome. Okay, so let's just pick this one right in the middle and I'm gonna create the leaves going the other direction. Is that cool? Yeah. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Let's do one more on the inside. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, now the rest of this we're gonna fast forward. Okay. You guys at home can pause the video once we're done so that you can see what we do when we finish, but you guys can use your own creativity to complete your tree. You ready fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, we finished our leaves. Looks really cool. Yeah. I'm sure you guys' drawings at home look awesome too. Now we're gonna switch back to our pencil and we're gonna use the eraser to erase all of those guidelines that we created at the very beginning. Okay. All right, we finished erasing all of the guidelines around our tree. We can put our pencil off to the side and what should we do next? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome once we finish coloring it. Now we're gonna use our oil pastels to color our tree. It's gonna look really cool at the end, but you guys could use anything you want. You could use colored pencils, you could use paint. We're gonna use our oil pastels. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. You did awesome on coloring your tree, and I love that you just used two colors. You used brown and green. Yeah. Green for the leaves and the grass, and brown for the trunk. Now on mine, I added a little extra shading to make it look more three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. This is a little more challenging, and this is a little more easy. So if you guys at home want to keep the lesson nice and easy, just use two colors. Yeah. And if you want to make it look a little more three-dimensional, and up for the challenge, you can use a dark green to add the shadow underneath the leaves at the very bottom. Yeah. And then also use a dark brown to shade the trunk and the branches. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. Your tree looks amazing. I think it would be really cool to finish the background also. Yes. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your trees with us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we want to see how awesome your trees turned out, right? Yes. Okay, so how do they do that? How do they send us a picture? Using the email my art at kids of Yes, have a parent or adult take a photo of your drawing and then email it to that email address, mm -hmm. my art at art for kids of <laughs> And we'll show off your photo in our next Monday slideshow. And we feature that right on our homepage on our website yes. at artforkidshub.com. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.